r slash relationships. Zush says. My, 31F, husband, 34 meters, is starting to scare me with his misogynistic rhetoric. 31F, 34 meters, married 13 years. For our entire relationship my husband has been the sweetest, most gentle person you could imagine. I work in the social justice slash equity field, with a degree in gender studies. He has always been incredibly supportive and appreciative of my work. We have had long, talks about women's rights and similar subjects. We've always usually fallen in close to what the other believes. Last week he was telling me about an article he read, and went off on a monologue about how the women's movement is causing men, to become unstable and mentally unwell. How this constant talk about women becoming more autonomous, setting boundaries, and all around making a name for themselves has caused men, to not know where they stand. That men have just been programmed to just be providers, and not show emotion. Which that. Point I could partially emphasize with. But then he went on to say that all that with women, has caused men to lose their place in the world. How now men are becoming withdrawn and depressed, because they don't belong anymore. I was literally shocked. He's never talked like that. I couldn't even respond. Since then he has brought up how domestic violence against men is worse. He even tried to convince me to write my graduate thesis on that. Just now, we were joking around about how women's pants don't have pockets. I mentioned how it partially originated from the idea that pockets kill the lines in a pair of pants. And he said well that's what women want. And this time I actually got a bit angry. I told him not a single woman I know cares about that. And we would rather have pockets. He kept on reiterating until eventually I just shut up, because I wasn't getting anywhere. So now I'm just sitting here with my wine, re-evaluating my entire marriage. I'm legitimately scared to bring my worry about his misogynistic views up to him. He hasn't been listening to my views at all lately. I want to reiterate that this is completely out of the blue for him. This is a complete 180 from who he has been for over the last decade. I don't know if I'm just venting or wanting advice. But, am I overthinking this? I know I work within the field, so I'm a little sensitive to this. But I really need some input here. TL, doctor, super sweet understanding husband has started to spout misogynistic rhetoric. Not sure what to- Just trying to learn says. Nana what he said, seems that the difference in opinions sure but worth ending a 13 year marriage over absolutely not emo. Unless you have a boundary, where your partners must only hold the same beliefs as yourself and any opposing opinion is toxic, I would say you're overreacting. Jason AA1912 says. The line of misogyny hasn't been crossed, yet but these things are going to get progressively worse. And X amount of time from now you'll be having the same thought process of where it went wrong. The resentment he feels towards women is going to continue to grow, because of his standard of living. If you already feel, like he's not appreciating your perspective anymore it's probably chalked. That resentment towards women just continues to get radicalized by social media algorithms. And any male friends he has, will fit into an echo chamber, which will feed him his validation. Therapy won't work, if it comes from a woman. Any shortcomings he feels, whether that be financially, emotionally or mentally will amplify his resentment and his radicalization. An unexpected unicorn says. I hate pockets on pants, they often do ruin the lines and silhouette. I see where they're useful, and I do, have some pants with pockets, that I wear for certain situations, but in general, I'll choose no pockets if possible. Sylvia 12 says. Where's the misogyny? He thinks women don't want pockets and domestic violence is worse for men. That's cispousing misogyny to you? I don't get it, the other stuff you listed, aren't extreme perspectives either. Antiphysist says. I'm sorry but this is dumb af. If women actually wanted pockets then the clothes with pockets would sell more, and then everything would be pocketed. But they don't. 
they don't buy stuff with pockets. That's not sexist. That's just the result of capitalism and the actual preference manifesting itself. Jaded Court 7919 says. I don't think he's saying anything misogynistic or women hating. It sounds like he's become interested in the number of men who are neglected and dismissed in society. Much of the attention and mental health awareness is placed on women right now. Also consider how many women blatantly spew men ain't shit rhetoric in addition to body shaming language. The overall failure of society to acknowledge male struggles, such as how boys are now falling behind in education, normalized groin shaming, the existing higher fatality suicide rates among men, the continuous shaming of men who express vulnerability, etc, is damaging for them. I believe that both genders have unique struggles. It sounds like your husband is trying to explore the other side of the coin, men's apostrophe issues. Educate D says. Any chance he got religion lately? I was raised in evangelical churches and this sounds similar to many of the sermons I heard. The feminists are trying to destroy men and take their place in the world. They are destroying the nuclear family all so they can act like men and rule the world. Insert your problem here and it's because a woman is trying to usurp a man's position in the world. r slash relationships throw away 3,738,829 says hi libido vs low libido partner hi i'm 28 f and i feel i'm growing resentful against my 29 m partner we've been together for five years living with each other for three and i'm starting to get more agitated regarding sex when i really don't want to in early years we had sex more often two to four times a week and now, if I'm lucky it's two to four times a month. I've been telling him, since last year, that I'd like to address this, but he tells me he's tired, or that he just doesn't feel like it, even though he masturbates plenty. I initiate as much as possible, and at times just ask for it directly. At this point I'm ruining my own chances having sex. The other day he initiated, and said maybe he would, if I put a certain outfit on, as much as I should have complied I just, felt. Extremely annoyed and snapped saying I'm tired of feeling, like I need to jump desperately onto any chance given. As a result I'm just making it worse, because I'm so frustrated how, do people even handle this? TLDR, partner's sex drive low, and I'm pushing him away. Skitten says. Either you honestly negotiate a solution that works for both of you, or you break up due to sexual incompatibility. Ideally, you handle it before you get bitter, which you are starting to become. A solution that sometimes works for both parties is for the higher libido person to mostly masturbate, while the lower libido person helps out in a manner they are comfortable with. But you both have to care about finding a solution you can both be happy with and you both have to be able to directly and honestly discuss the issue. Elegant Rectum says. If he masturbates plenty, that means he still has a sex drive slash a desire for sexual pleasure. He is not exactly low libido in the traditional sense. Is your relationship in a bad state overall? That could be impacting his desire to engage sexually with you. It could also be that he masturbates too much, and that is impacting his desire to engage sexually with you. Personally, if I were in your position, I would have one last conversation about this issue, letting him know how serious it is, and how you have tried to bring it up in the past and nothing has changed and how you are at a breaking point, and cannot stay in this situation indefinitely. Inform him that it's time to actively try and fix this issue, and it cannot be avoided any longer. But if nothing changed after that, I would be breaking up. Sex is a hugely important part of a relationship. Not being on the same page sexually with your romantic partner is a deal breaker. r slash relationships. Kotebush playlist says. All girls school slash how to talk to guys. Slash social anxiety. Hi everyone, I, F19, just started college a few months ago and previously came from an all-girls convent school. 
It's been 6 months in college and I would say that I have never spoken to a single guy before outside of class. I have extreme social anxiety and I tend to fidget a lot in certain situations. Egg sitting alone in class, sitting with a guy. It's very noticeable emo, but I cannot help myself to keep cool in situations like that. I think that going to an all girls school has deeply affected my mental health and anxiety issues around people esp guys. I have absolutely no idea how to hold conversations with guys, and notice that I tend to switch to a colder tone whenever approached by one. I also do not participate in any male gossips that my female friends would bring up in a convo. I'm afraid to speak up about them as I did not want to appear as a vain female who only talks slash hangs around guys. I always have the PTSDs from high school, because girls there won't usually talk much about guys and you'll be outcasted, egg called a wrestle-ash-t, if you liked hanging around boys. It's a very feminist empowering environment. Because I've always hanged around with girls in my college only, I'm already starting to question my sexuality. I'm a bisexual and real, but appears as a homosexual woman who is only interested in girls. How do I have the courage to talk to guys not appear as a wrestle ash tea at the same time in the eyes of others? I have absolutely zero idea and I wish to seek some advice here. TL, doctor, grew up in an all girls schools never spoken to a guy before, don't know how to talk to one in college asking for. The hot dogman says. I'd recommend working with a therapist on social anxiety. They can help you practice, role playing, and give you challenges each week, to try something new socially. CBT could help tremendously. Hexacus says. I mean there is a lot of guys on here, do you know how to talk to guys on the interwebs? The hot dogman says. I'd recommend working with a therapist on social anxiety. They can help you practice, role playing, and give you challenges each week to try something new socially. CBT could help tremendously. Rumrick Zero says. Join some clubs. Like find opportunities where you aren't interacting with them as dudes, but as people who are into rock climbing or playing board games, etc. That's all for this video. Was it good? I know not for I'm a robot. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. This video is the product of an automated process.